Welcome to part two of our series on how to design the shot you've always wanted to be. This uh, shooting time series in association with Hull Cartridge here at the Royal Berkshire Shooting School. Uh, last time, Tom, we were looking at how the gun actually works, which is something you say that a surprising amount of people don't understand, and uh, determining eye dominance uh, and whether you can shoot with two eyes open or whether you can close one eye. So what are we going to be talking about today? Uh, so in this second episode, we're going to be focusing on one of the major fundamentals of becoming a consistent game shot, which is gun mount and improving your gun mount. So when we're thinking about people who have done really quite a lot of shooting and maybe been at it for quite a few seasons, people who are shooting, you know, 10, 15 days a season, but are still making mistakes in terms of their gun mount, what is it that you're actually seeing them do? What are the common mistakes? Uh, various common mistakes. One's rushing, uh, moving and mounting, uh, poor stance, uh, hitting their shoulder first, putting the muzzle away from the bird, uh, over mounting the gun, under mounting the gun. Uh, there's lots of minor factors uh, that come into play uh, with regards to your gun mount, um, but those would be, if I was to highlight uh, any, they would be the major, major problems. And how much would you expect a uh, gun's <coughs> performance to improve if they can take their gun mount from a sort of mediocre uh, standard? As a shot, if you can uh, dramatically improve your gun mount, you will see a dramatic difference in, in performance and, a, in a, and you will notice it straight away. So it's a serious sort of building block towards becoming the shot. It, it, would, it would, you know, before we start going into the details in other programs, it would be probably the most major factor against um, footwork. And just lastly, before you sort of tell people how they can actually improve their gun mount, you were saying that there's no point in getting a gun that fits you when your gun mount is inconsistent because you're basically trying to fit something, you know, which is going to be mounted in a different way each time. Could you maybe explain yeah, that I mean, a little bit? Yeah, the easiest way to explain that is uh, if you cannot mount the gun consistently, uh, gun fit is it's neither here nor there. It's like having a suit made, putting weight on, losing weight. You, the suit leaving the shop may have fitted you at that point, but if you're consistently going to fluctuate in your weight, the suit's never really going to fit, the gun operates exactly the same. This time we're going to be really focusing on one of the main factors in order for you guys to improve as game shots, and that's improving our gun mount. Uh, we're going to be going through a nice basic platform, basic stance, okay, and then going through how you actually improve uh, your gun mount, so that you mount consistently to your bird uh, all the time. One of the major factors to starting to improve your gun mount is you've got to have a good building block. By that I mean you've got to have a good stance. If your stance is incorrect, it will automatically cause you problems when coming to mount the gun. Okay, so a basic stance uh, for effectively a straight driven bird. Shoulder width apart, okay, take half a step forward with your left foot, point that between one and two, and turn your back foot between two and three. Your feet are comfortably uh, not too spaced out, and you're gently going to take that weight forward onto a straight leg. So I've explained basic stance, and now we're going to talk about how we actually grip the gun properly. I'm left-handed, I'm demonstrating this left-handed to you guys, to so the right-handers, reverse it. When you grip the gun, three fingers underneath, lock your thumb over the top. There are so many people that you see that leave their thumb hanging on the top here. What happens is it causes, by leaving that thumb here, number one, your thumb's sitting on top of the safety catch, where the top leave can come back, but also you cause a kink in your wrist. What will happen is you'll find that this will actually raise your elbow and you'll start to use too much back hand when you go to mount the gun. So seat your hand properly and lock your thumb over so you're stretching for your trigger. Okay, the gun's empty, I'm going to close it there, take a nice comfortable grip of the fore, fore end, okay, take a nice comfortable grip of the fore end so you've got a nice just over right angle bend. Okay, so you've got a nice grip here, nice grip on the fore end. Standing accordingly. This is what I call your address position, okay? So imagine you've got a pheasant coming straight towards you, okay, at about sort of 40 foot, nothing too exciting. Nice grip, bring it, tuck the uh, heel of the stock just underneath your armpit, armpit and take it away. What we're trying to do is we're trying to reduce the variables for something to actually go wrong. Now on our face, we've got a jawbone, cheekbone, and this soft fleshy part just here. Keeping your head still, okay, you're gonna drive the gun with both hands up towards that soft fleshy part of your, of your face. All right, now if you hit your jawbone, the gun's gonna shoot high, offline, and it will hurt. If you, onto your cheekbone, okay, that will also, you'll be offline, but you'll bury your head, and it'll also hurt, okay. The main thing is you've gotta keep your head straight, eyes on what you're actually shooting at, you address the bird correctly, muzzles in the direction of the bird, nice grip, heel of the gun just under your armpit, good platform, nice stance, 
and you're gonna drive that gun towards the bird, keeping your head still, okay? The whole time, both hands driving that gun towards the bird. All right, and you can see my head's not moving. The last thing you want to do is, which you see quite often, is people hit their shoulder first, your head's hanging here, and then you have to come down to the gun, okay? All right, your eyes are always still. You watch any top sportsman, whether it's a batsman or a tennis player, they're not waving their head around. Their head is kept perfectly still. You've got good te technique in regards to the way that you're standing and the way that you're gripping your gun, okay? You've got your pheasant, you're gonna drive the gun up towards your eyesight, into the back of the bird, and through like so. Now, I've been through briefly um, how you can go through the stages to start to improve that gun mount. And now we're gonna move into a lesson environment with Patrick here. So we're gonna start with going through on stance, and then we're gonna go about how we address the bird properly, and then how we're actually gonna mount that gun correctly to a nice driven 40 foot bird. So the first thing we're gonna talk about is that nice stance, okay? So Patrick, for me, he's gonna stand shoulder width apart, yeah. facing that way, okay? So feet shoulder width apart, Patrick. Feet straight, okay, that's it. Take a half step forward with your left foot, point that between one and two, and turn your back foot between two and three. That's it, so you've got a nice stance ready for that straight driven bird. Gun all clear? Yeah. Okay. So, those going to there, we're gonna make sure that Patrick grips the gun nicely, fingers away from the trigger just to start with. Nice grip on the forend. He's gonna close the gun for me towards the ground, up to this nice solid address position here. Okay, and he's just gonna take that slightly away there. Again, so we're reducing those variables where it could go wrong to allow him to mount that gun nice and cleanly. Muzzles are dressing the bird, so holding it relative to the height of the bird. Okay, safety forward, lock that finger over. Okay, you ready? Yeah. And again, come back to that nice address position. Tip of the gun slightly lower. We'll have another go. That's good, good start. Okay. Second shot, bashed it. Yeah. Bit quick. Same again. Remember to finish the shot nicely. And when I say finish the shot, don't be in a hurry to pull your head off. Actually watch your bird die. We'll talk about it more in a uh, later series, but actually watch your bird die through your gun. Okay, you ready? Yep. So in this episode, we've covered the basics of how to improve your gun mount. Focusing on a good platform, gripping your gun and holding the gun correctly, setting yourself up, with the muzzles pointing towards uh, where your bird's coming from, and then driving that gun, keeping your head still towards the bird. Okay, trying to keep it as simple and straightforward as possible so that it's a structure you can follow at home, as demonstrated by Patrick uh, during the short lesson. Okay, so Tom, what are we gonna be looking at then in the, uh, in the next episode? So in the next episode, moving from gun mount, we're gonna move on to talking about the importance of footwork Okay, and how footwork enables yourself and your body to make the shots comfortably and correctly, helping with gun mount in order to improve your consistency. Thanks very much for watching the uh, second instalment of our series sponsored by Hull Cartridge on how to become the shot you've always wanted to be. Uh, we hope that you tune in again next time.